Hey guys, it's Bridget, and this month's favorites video, it's such a gorgeous day outside, I just had to film out here. So, you hear a watering sound, it's a fountain, and if you hear cars, we're outside, but it's just so pretty. So, February favorites is happening outside today. Here we go. Alrighty, so my first favorite is a fashion favorite, and it's a pair of black boots. I know you're shocked. I never wear these, but this pair is from Forever 21. It's got some fringe on it, and I feel like it's a great way to transition from winter to spring. The fringe is kind of like that nod to like flower children and like festivals and like that kind of thing. Still black, still classic, and I actually did a collaboration video styling these three ways that I will link down below, but you can't go wrong with classic black boots and I feel like the fringe um, sort of makes it more of a transition piece versus just a straight winter boot. My next favorite was a Valentine's Day gift from my sweet, sweet husband who definitely knows me very well. And it is this uh, Kate Spade bag and I'm not sure like the name of this style, but I'll link it down below. But I've been talking a lot about things that are this color, oxblood, and how much I love it. And he actually found this bag on sale from Kate Spade and got it for me for Valentine's Day. I feel like it's really classic and it's a great alternative to just a straight black bag, but it's still neutral and classic and can pretty much go with anything. All right, my next favorite is a home favorite and it is a candle. And I got this at Target pretty recently and I've seen these candles there all the time. It's the Bella by Illume Island Moonlight Candle with Ruby Cassis, Valencia Orange, and Sandalwood. Anything with sandalwood, I am there. I just love that scent so, so much, especially for the home. I think it's just warm and inviting, not too overpowering, and with the other elements in this candle, it's just amazing. It smells like when you walk into anthropology. That's the best way I can describe it. It smells like anthropology to me, and I just love it. And I got this at Target. It's definitely not one of the most expensive candles there. Probably middle of the road, but I will link it down below if you're interested. Uh, the main reason I picked it is because uh, of the gold and the blue and the orange. I have all of those colors in my living room, so I kind of picked it for the outside, but the inside smells absolutely amazing, and it's probably my new favorite candle. My next favorite is a food favorite, and it is a tea. It's called Stee's Lightly Sweetened Ice Cream Tea, and this one has blueberry and pomegranate in it. I did a Costco run recently because I had family in town, and I had to get a bunch of stuff for a barbecue, and I wanted to get some kind of tea drink that everyone would like, and they had a big palette of these. It comes with blueberry, pomegranate, uh, half green tea, half lemonade, and a peach green tea. And I, when I first saw this, I thought it had like artificial sweetener in it because you know when things say like lightly sweetened or something, I kind of get worried because artificial sweetener gives me a headache and it's just not very good for you. So I thought that's what it was, but then I looked on the back and all that's in it is filtered water, a little bit of cane sugar, organic juices, and tea. And it is delicious. It's not super sweet. It doesn't have that syrupy flavor that a lot of canned teas have, I feel like. It tastes really fresh, really light. It's so refreshing. I'm gonna go back to Costco just for this. They're really, really good. And a great bang for your buck, for sure, if you're going to Costco. The book I am reading this month with my mom, if you don't know, we have sort of a Skype mommy-daughter book club that we do every month. And this month we are reading The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. I just happened to see this at Barnes & Noble on a like, should read paperbacks or something. And I picked it up and it's the story of this guy who basically wants to solve the mystery of this dog that gets murdered in his neighborhood. And if you've ever watched Parenthood, the voice of the main character really reminds me of Max. Um, he has Asperger's and just the way he describes things. I just think of Max Braverman in my head as this character. So if you like Parenthood, I think you would really like this book. It's just really, really well written and just a really um, interesting voice to tell the sort of murder mystery story. But it's really good, and if you're looking for a book to read, I highly recommend this one. My last like physical thing favorite is a couple pieces of dainty gold jewelry that I've been wearing a lot. Most of these I actually picked up with my mother-in-law when she was in town, we did a little shopping. The first is this gold necklace. Um, it's a cross, but um, it's, I like that it's really dainty and it, it looks good layered and it's a cross, which is, it's a good thing to represent. So that piece. And then also this ring, which I think is an insanely cool dupe for the new Tiffany's gold bangle that they have. It looks almost exactly like this. 
So I thought it was kind of cool, like from far away, people were like, oh, is she wearing a Tiffany's ring? And I'll be like, oh, no, it was $4. Joke's on you. Anyways, so those and these two rings together, I think looks really nice and really dainty and just kind of a nice everyday ring. And then this gold feather bracelet, I just love feathers. I think they are beautiful. And why not have it in a nice gold bangle? And I've just been sort of like stacking it with other pieces, but those are the jewelry pieces that I'm wearing pretty much every day this month, and I like them a lot. Okay, so my lesson learned for this month, it's not so much a lesson, but just something that I had to keep reminding myself, and that is be thankful that you have them to say goodbye to. So it's been a couple months since I've seen my parents, I saw them at Christmas, and then my in-laws were in town and we spent some time together and then they left and I'm the type of person that like when I'm with people I'm really extroverted and excited and then when they leave I have this like huge like crash. I just get like really sad when I have to say goodbye to people and I don't know when I'm going to see them again and things like that but my mom used to say this all the time and she said she would say be thankful you have them to say goodbye to and it's just something I've had to keep repeating just to to realize how thankful I am for those people and I know I'll see them again and I am truly thankful that I have them to say goodbye to. So if you're missing someone, just be thankful. There's someone that you can say goodbye to and know that you'll say hello to them again sometime soon. So that is my February favorites. I hope you all had a great month. I know it's a short month and we're headed into March, but I hope you guys are doing well. I truly appreciate when you guys watch my videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss new videos from me every Wednesday and Friday. Stay bougie and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.